So, um, you the wrote the album, blah, 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 and you said, blah, 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 blah. what did you think about that? Like and they answer, and then the next um, question is like, no, 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 it is for me a bit, it's and a so bit much, and the call. person's kind of like, you know, if someone asks you two or three questions in one Joe. question, and you're a bit like, hold on, what did you say? And what AJ, was the first bit that you that said? Yeah. Some of them think it's good to keep some of it so a little bit more simple, a little bit more, because also people don't have long attention span. We know that, we know that like, um, okay. you guys love all your questions, and of course you do, because these items are like your okay. babies. But bear in mind, really in good a decent interview, even if we talk to them for an hour, we might only ask six or seven questions because it's a conversation. So we might ask your question one, and we find a really interesting answer. So they come in. There's stuff that's not even on your brief. And so, I mean, I would have three or four questions that you prioritise you definitely want us to hit, so don't be too precious about them. If there's one particular question about a particular album that came out, I said, it doesn't matter. 